Today we're making grandma pizza. Grandma pizza? Yeah. What the fudge is grandma pizza? Because are you telling me that you didn't prepare for Why this? Why would it even cross my mind that we were going to make a pizza I had literally never heard of? I left of you before. a voicemail. A voicemail? It's too much to put in are text. Are you a grandma? Is that why we're making grandma Don't pizza? Don't ever call me a grandma. No one listens to voicemail. Neapolitan is crap if you can't make it properly no in a 900 degree oven. We I do. Go to culinary oh, here school. we go. Grandma pizza is a pan pizza with a thinner crust than Sicilian or Detroit style. Ironically, my grandma could not cook to save her life. Literally. R.I.P. Clearly there's a story there and I'm not gonna inquire about it. Anyway, to make the dough, mix with your bare hands. Or if you prefer, you can use a stand mixer with the paddle attachment on low speed. No. Respect the craft. Mix by hand. Okay, whatever. Grandma pizza. Let's make it. Let's okay. Do whatever you want. It's not gonna be good. I'm not gonna like That's it. Great. But we're gonna make it anyway and we're gonna waste our time doing Thank it. Thank you, chef. Chef. Yeah, in the kitchen we call each other chef. Cause this is a bedroom with a green screen hung on the wall. Let's just get started, Chef. I'd love to, Jeff. What do we do first? Pol polish the mixing bowls until we can see our nose hairs in it? First, we go over this. Is this the recipe? No. Non-negotiables. They are the principles that will guide us. Push boundaries. Less is more. Respect tradition. Non-negotiables. Cuz, we're just making a dumb YouTube video. No, we're not. Okay, then what are we doing? We're going for a star. A star. A Michelin star. The award given to only the most outstanding restaurants. So that's gonna be tough because this is not a restaurant. Look at number seven on the list. What? Break down all boxes the, before putting the other in the number dumpster? seven. Believe. This is so incredibly stupid. Now that the dough is done, we can cover it and put it in the refrigerator for 72 hours where the flavors can metamorphosize. But of course, since we need to finish this video today, I have a dough that I made three days ago in the refrigerator that we can now work with. Oh, why did you say oh like that? I, I thought that was a practice dough, so I already made it. So where is the pizza? I ate it. You ate a whole pizza? It was really good. Those 72 hours really make a difference. Luckily, I anticipated this happening, so I made another dough and put it in a secret refrigerator, which we can now work with. Okay, why why do you look like that? So yeah, I also kind of like found the secret refrigerator and, and the dough. And what did you do with it? I made another pizza. Where is the pizza? I ate it. You've had two full pizzas today. It's my cheat day. After 72 hours, take the dough out of the refrigerator and put it in the pan. Shape the dough gently with your fingertips, just, just like this. Get with authority. But let it know you care. But let it know who's boss. Once you've got it in the pan like this, let it rest for 30 minutes. But you don't get to rest. No, you never do. So keep grinding, hustling. Gressling. Now that the dough is ready to goo, this is the most appropriate and perhaps most convenient time to begin considering what toppings you might want to put on well, your pizza. Well, actually, hopefully you, you know exactly what you want to put on the pizza and you've got it like ready to go right now. Like, do we have any pesto? I think a pesto pizza would be really good. We do not. Fudge monkeys. Chef, I need cheese now! Lord, I'm still saucing the pie, I'll chef! I'll do it myself, chef! You're taking way too Sauce long! done, chef! Don't get your boxer briefs I got mozzarella! Bunch. Where are my other cheeses? Chef, I got fontina and mozzarella! I already said mozzarella! Now that we've got all these sweet toppings on our pizza, we're gonna put it into a 500 degree oven for seven to 10 minutes. Whoa, 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 500 degrees? You'd only wanna put it in for like 90 seconds. 90 seconds, it'll be raw. If you put it in for 10 minutes, it'll be cremated. Wait a second, are you thinking in Celsius again? Oh, you meant 500 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> what a mix up. That was so funny. That was so funny. How much time, chef? If we were making Neapolitan, we'd I be done by now. didn't ask you when a hypothetical pizza will be done. I am asking you about the actual pizza which exists within our current perceived reality, Retail, chef. chef. It's too long. I need it in 240. No if way. this fudging pizza isn't sliced in on a fudging plate in two minutes, then we are not getting that star. Kiss that star goodbye, grandma. What the fudge did you just call me? Forget it. No. Fudge you. Oh, fudge the me. only reason you're a lower mid-tier YouTube personality at all and making any money is because like of me. you think you could have done this You alone. would have nothing without you me. You need me, Your cause... Vespa, your Spotify creamy your moisturizers, which don't even work, out. by the Unlike way, because you, you look as no way to be fine when grandma needed help moving to Florida. Fudge you! No, fudge you! Fudge you! I love you! Fudge you! I love you! To finish off this stunning pizza, as soon as it comes out of the oven, give it a drizzle of high quality extra virgin olive oil and a sprinkle of Malden sea salt. Be very careful when you eat it, because you don't want to have a situation happen where you bite into a piece, but your teeth don't really fully go through the cheese, so then the entire sheet of cheese just slides off the slice, and then swings down and hits you on the chin, and then the molten lava sauce gives you terrible and unsightly burns, which has actually happened to me before. It, it happened back in, uh, in high school. It was prom night. This isn't a joke. This really happened. Pro prom night 
back in the day, I bit into some pizza, the, the sauce burned my chin. I was like, I can't let anyone see me like this. What am I gonna do? But it all worked out because I wasn't going to prom anyway. I didn't even realize it was prom night. So, uh, but, but it would have been bad if it had been prom night. That's, or I mean, it was prom night. If I was going anyway, to prom, join us next time when we show you how to make Georgian ketchup puri. So I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I, uh, I lost my mind. I love you, cuz. Yeah, I know. Did, did you try the pizza? Yeah, uh, it's okay. Guess we didn't win a star, huh? Maybe not from Michelin, but what is this? Grandma loved it. Wow, that's, that's touching. Yeah, I, I would have preferred a Michelin star, but yeah, this, this is okay. A stranger's come to town.